watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network Sports. Hello, Herricks. It's Friday, and that means it's a great day for some Highlander sports highlights. I'm Michael Grady, and this past week was a wild one, so let's get started with cross country. The cross country teams are reaching the end of the road in successful places. The girls finished 14th in Nassau, and though they didn't qualify for further competition, the boys finished 10th and received their invitation to Bethpage for state qualifiers tomorrow. They'll send 5th place in all-county runner Ram Revy Shankar with Krish Nair, Matthew Kai, Alex Keynes, Oral Naamu, Elliot Shim, Dylan Leong, John Valentini, and Maxwell Yang. As for the girls, Isabel Sui and Chloe Hall will race as individuals. Good luck to everybody involved, and keep it speedy out there. Round 1 of the playoffs was a trip down to Long Beach for girls volleyball Monday night, and apparently they rang the wrong doorbell for Halloween because the Marines torpedoed their season in four sets. Some highlights were the play of setter Aaron Sinkovich, Lindsey Fields, and Sam Scordo. Seniors also deserving recognition for their efforts this year were Jalen Lee, Stephanie Katsanos, Anna Louie, and Carolyn Lau, but the true strength of this team was the amount of juniors and underclassmen they'll return next year with conference champion experience. As for boys volleyball, their playoff odyssey lasted a little while longer. In their first round, they hosted East Meadow last Saturday and won the rubber game in four sets. It turns out 17 was the lucky number of the game. Evan Leal recorded 17 kills and Tanu Stoney dug 17 balls. The stove was turned to a higher setting for the second round when Herricks walked into Schreiber's gym as the underdog, and there they were brought down by the mighty Vikings in a three-set sweep. An unfortunate finish, but Leal, Devin, and Dylan Lee were all juniors and all won all county awards. The back-to-back conference champions showed this year they can show up against better competition, and there's no reason to think they won't be able to again next fall. Around 6.30 p.m. last Friday night, there was a football game all but finished. Rosalind had her Highlanders dead to rights in the third quarter with a 17-0 lead. Herricks kept going four and out, and the one time they got in the end zone, it was negated by a holding penalty. Nothing was going right for a team where nothing had gone right all season. There was only one thing the Bulldogs hadn't accounted for, and it was not having Cooper LaRock on their lost roster. LaRock gave both the offense and pack crowd life when he took a direct snap and ran it in for seven. Later that same quarter, the Highlander defense announced themselves when Bobby Szymanski forced a fumble deep in Roslyn territory, and LaRock not only recovered it, but scored another touchdown several plays later. From there was a rejuvenated football game fit for homecoming, and it all came down to Herricks' final drive. Again, Roslyn looked like they had it wrapped up, forcing the Highlanders to a 4th and 11 at the 25 with under 20 seconds remaining. Needing a touchdown, Tommy Napolitano rolled out behind good protection from his offensive line, and threw a prayer towards the back at the corner of the end zone that somehow landed in Relock's hands for the score in a 19-17 Herricks lead. Two plays later, the Highlanders had secured their first win of the season when Rosalind's own Hail Mary attempt fell incomplete. The fans rushed the field, celebrating a magical comeback that seemed impossible less than an hour before. Most importantly, Herricks finished 1-7 in the standings and not 0-8. This team will always have this game to look back on. So to wrap things up, that ends your weekly Highlander sports highlights from here in the TV studio. I'm Mike O'Grady, and I wish the best of luck to our teams and athletes still going strong in the coming week. And remember, Herricks, I'll be right back here next Friday with another sports update. Until then, remember, this is Highlander Country. Thank you for watching HTN Sports.